From Bolero of Lakewood, here for the title matches of the Pac Northwest Doubles Classic. It's been a great stepladder so far. Right now, uh, top seeds Kenji London and Colt Jantz have just gotten started their match against the team that's climbed the ladder, Liam Hardman and Tyler Coates. Tyler just ended a string of 10 strikes in a row for his half of the team, but remember they're combining to form one team game. So it's double eights there for Tyler and Liam in an early lead, which Colt can eliminate if he can strike here and make it a double for their team. Been a while since we've seen old Shorty on the webcast. He was about a five, three, six months ago, last time he was on TV. Now he's about six everything. And this is without him on stilts, as we saw last time. For an early lead. Can't throw it any better than that. Good start for them. We're going to get the handicap match started in just a second, so we'll be quiet for a while. You're welcome. <laughs> Enjoy the show while we get handicap started. It'll be Spencer Desart and Jade Walters, the top seeds, taking on Tamia Yeager and Chloe Bartlett, who just dodged a bullet against Cindy Mason Mattingly. Two pin match. Final result over there. They're still in practice. It'll be a while. Kenji's got one career title back at Evergreen. Last season it was an exciting win as well. Top seeds today all the way up at plus three something. Is that informative of me? 363 and three in a row extends their lead to 11. started over there in Handicap. Recapping where we are, nine out was an expensive open for uh, Liam and Tyler's team. And 
Oh, meanwhile, packs another rack back for four in a row. They've got a big early lead. Things can change quickly in Baker, so right here, Kenji, you just want to keep that gas pedal on max. Hold on, uh, the Junior Gold Youth Open pattern, so pretty playable today. Scores were decent to medium high, I would say. Not overwhelmingly high, but uh, it's a lot of games. We started with 10 on a pair, and then the semis, and now this. So uh, what was there is largely gone, so you got to make moves to deal with a lot of friction on the lane. You can fall down, you can move left, you can throw it fast, change your hand position, all kinds of different ways to attack that. And this is a tricky spare with that sleeper nine pin back there for Kenji. Ah, nice and done. 69 teams started today, giant turnout. Thank you so much to Bill and Tina and the crew here at Galero for having us. Oh, I'm just babbling, don't worry. I do that. Right back at it here tomorrow with the Baker team of that one of our favorites every year, of course. Oh, wow. Liam has been carrying so well in this stepladder, but right there, ring and ten. The noise is next. They got by Matt Carr and, and Tyler Cruz in round one because, of course, Liam beat Matt. That's how it goes around here. Then a great semifinal, 268 to 246 over Canadians Adam Jodowin and Simon Dyke. Good to see Simon back in the finals. Liam's going to wait on that Deadwood while Chloe Bartlett is up on the right hand lane. Part of the number two seeded team between her and Tamia Yeager. Dodged a bullet in the last match, 165 to 164 over the team of Mattingly. Over there. He has been knocking on the door of another JBT win. Oh, Chloe, a product of the Pac Northwest and the Midland College Bowling Program. On this day, then. Piper signed her official letter to bowl for her team. Had a big signing at noon today. That was cool. And we're going to have to respot that, Ted. Saw that one coming out a couple of light years away. There you have it. Liam's getting iced, literally. <laughs> you can't. <laughs> Those of you who are here understand. Literally getting iced. Nice spare from Jaeger. Real nice form, developing talent. She's going to get signed by a good college program, I guarantee it. Jade's got one career title back at Sekoma. While Spencer's only past career title is in doubles, so he's apparently a double specialist. Won that title with uh, Dave Nicholson. Here we go. That one's going to go way. Brooklyn not even touched it. Right Still plenty early. Liam is done being iced. He will throw hard at a zillion miles an hour and flat at it. No matter if you cut down the hook or not, the ball's got no time to hook at that speed. <laughs> and he makes the tip in anyway. So after nine strikes in a row, Tyler spared in the third and opened in the fifth. He would like to make up for that right here because his team trails by 35 pins with just four frames to go. Oh man, and instead a pretty ball. Ball drives right past the nine. Modern nine pin. Deal with my least favorite split over there. Tyler years ago stated the goal to catch Ryan Nicholas in Northwest Titles. He slowed down a bit as he sometimes does adult events, sometimes his back says, I don't feel like it, and some other things going on. Well, don't we all? 
<laughs> no problem at the nine count that time. But in case you were wondering who he is, he am Brunswick. I am Brunswick. Rocking our title sponsored logo, I am Bowling. Anybody who wears I am stuff has a I am split of the $5,000 prize for that, and all four of our finalists do. So, absolutely. So, good stuff there. Tyler, would you move, please? Thank you. Tyler, would you move, please? <laughs> Thought he had it the first time. Old skinny short one here. Never been this close to a scratch win. He's got plenty of handicap titles and top fives and everything, but no scratch win yet. No, oh, come on, seven. Oh, it does fall. He had all those pins ripping over into the 10 pin. It looked like the seven was going to be stubborn. It leaned, it wiggled, it wobbled, and it fell. And that's a big strike in the seventh. For Colt, Kenzie looking to capitalize on it. If they win, they beat a lot of stacked scratch teams. Real good shot. Every time they mark, that forces a double out of the opposing team to catch up. So marks are good when you only got two and a half frames to go and 30 pins in the lead. I don't honestly know. I was giving the match start. That's your nine miss. Would you like to decrease your score? I just wanted to make sure. I honestly didn't see that one. No problem with the four pin for London. 168 through seven is good for a 36 pin lead. The time for Liam and Tyler is now. <laughs> Time for Jade Walters is now. Hang on, ball. It's not. Oh, it does hang on. Wow. Clearly, I didn't know what ball that was because I was going to turn left at any moment. Liam's got room for, uh, what is that? 222. Colton Kennedy pacing 228. No doubter there. If it comes down to the 10th, Hardman will be throwing the ball. So it behooves. Mr. Coates, get 10 pins down. Catch a shot of Spencer here. Spencer made top 12 at TPC last summer. And trips the floor right there. A mandatory strike for Coates. It's close. Ah, pretty ball. He is so good with being soft at his hand that he doesn't have to loft it or throw it tremendously fast. He's able to create projection through being really soft in his release. That's good stuff. But it won't matter if Colt and Kenji can go mark mark to the back of the Three in a row for Bartlett and me over there. They're taking charge, taking advantage of their big break last game. What a shot for Colt. Mom was right to my right. Got a camera as well. They've waited a while for this moment. It's good. Yeah, you bet. Jance clearly loves that ball. They're pre-hugging. This match isn't over yet. Well, I guess that was just a strike hug. Cole's a big old smile on his face, as he should. He's done his job. All he can do is sit and wait what partner does. In fact, uh, three out of four strikes for Colts. Colts shoe is a tight Is that what was going on? He comes back and he starts to What a goof nugget. Any mark wins anything less than a mark. Hardman can steal it. For the week. Go! Oh, oh! Boy, boy, the ultimate bad news, good news scenario is bad news that could have been a 4 9 real easy, great news. The four pin trips out. Mediocre news, he's still got the nine to shoot, but that's all he's got to do is knock it over. And boy, in the last month that we've seen some dramatic nine counts. Please, Kenji, for the sake of your team and my heart, make this spare. He gets it. We're all telling that ball, please don't hook, please don't hook, please don't hook. It doesn't, just a couple pins, they win. 
Drag for Walters on the Brooklyn. She'll take. Change your score, guys. Me has got it. Five's a winner, boy. I'd be throwing it hard and straight down the middle if I were him, but uh, they both got more hair than me, so I'm not him. Mama Jans is so focused, I can't get her to laugh no matter what over here. I start telling jokes. Five's a win, and then Mama Jans might explode. Guess what? That's, that's five. 227 will do it. Kenji and Colt. Take today's scratch double style. Good stuff. First scratch win for Colt, second for Kenji. Great sports, Liam and Tyler. Real good sportsmanship this whole step ladder through the scratch division. That's good to see. Team Tyler's dad wants in on that. 99% of the was that a raspberry? Say hi to your fans. 99% of the time that was uh, their one big family. So we love to see that. Great job, guys. We're gonna move the camera over here and focus on the handicap finals. Congrats. And in that final. Chloe and Mia are giving 22. As it stands, they're leading by 40-something, so they've already made up the handicap difference, and then some, and Chloe gets that light hit to scatter in her eighth frame. As they are inching towards victory. The best Spencer and Jaden can do is a... Uh, 183 plus the 22 is 205. So should Mia or Chloe trip up, they still have time. Just same situation over here. Mark, Mark will wrap it up. Oh, what a pretty ball from Tamia. And that will just about do it. Calm reaction from a great ninth frame strike. She's all done for the day. There you go, that's better. Delayed reaction, I beg your pardon. Uh, they can feel it over there. Walter needs strike and hope. Ah, pretty good ball, just a little half ten pin there. Well, this match isn't going their way, but they bowled great all day, especially the last two games, which were match play, to uh, get to the number one seed. They won both those games and got the lead from Chloe and Mia by just nine pins. But uh, Bartlett and Jaeger were out for revenge. No. Well, Walters is going to go to the bar, have a root beer. Shake it off. She'll be back in the team tournament tomorrow. Austin's back in the team tournament tomorrow. Thanks to, uh, I forget already. Thanks to, uh, who did you get? Emily, Straley, beg your pardon, Emily, yes. <laughs> there you go. Still second place out of like a billion teams in handicap today is nothing to uh, hang your head about at all. I'll give you all my stickers if you make it. What he said. He gave me. Come on. You got one of those stickers. I got $5. How many stickers Six. I don't know. <laughs> I know, right? Oh, you owe me six stickers. Kick the field goal, I know. You got to read that fine print when you enter these tournaments. <laughs> Team Mattingly finally breaking through for a top four in doubles after many, many attempts. There we go. Maybe just many, not many, many. Many, many, just singular many. One, uno, many, oh. There we go. There's our signee. There we go. Very good. Chloe and Mia finishing off in style. It's Ladies Day in the handicap division. Chloe's only title as a JBT bowler was the Girls Invitational. So, full on title this time while Mia gets her second. Second for her, right? Second win? First win? Why did I think she won before? I just. I just anticipated this moment. There you go, I've been corrected. This is title number one for me. First of many, how about that? Yay! 
was gonna say I'll give her all my stickers if she can get only the six, but she would probably want the stickers and stuff. This is that guy. There he is. I knew to find him somewhere. He's the reason we're here today. Thank you to Bill and the whole crew. Wraps up a great eight and a half hour day of action. Chops it anyway. Doesn't matter. 232 scratch. Plenty good enough for the win. And a big hug. Lots of hugs all day long. We love to see it. We're going to see it all over again tomorrow for the team action.